Okay, today's a little bit different. I um, ended up getting a little something called a cam link to hopefully help the quality of the video show up better. Um, I still don't know how it's going to do. I'm not sure if our internet is like good enough to make a difference. Um, oh, wait, let me do a little. But I wanted to give it a try because it was definitely if I'm going to do more tutorials. I didn't really like that it was a uh, really bad quality. Okay. Sorry, that took me a little bit longer to post, but I just posted on um, Instagram letting, me know, letting everyone know that I am live over here. And okay, so we have, um, hi, Pia, you have to tell me how to pronounce your name. Um, but you are over here, you said, I, oh, I forgot I can click it. It's been like a week or two since I've done a live, so I'm all out of sorts. Um, but hi, hi, bio girl, Julissa. And how are you feeling? Uh, today I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I feel like um, my husband took the week off last week, so that's why I didn't go live. And throughout the latter half of that week, I feel like I was starting to feel almost, you know, like my old energy. I was feeling a little bit more stable in the mornings and stuff. And so today he went back to work for the first day, and I honestly feel really, really good, which is a really weird thing to get to say. But, you know, besides the, you know, kind of blah-ness whenever I have to eat, as long as I can have some gum afterwards, I'm pretty good. So I'm very thankful today to be like doing stuff. I went and took the kids out. We went to a play place and they had a blast. And then I was able to like cook lunch without having to gag the whole time. So I'm on week 14 and a half and um, I'm feeling pretty good. So thank you so much for asking. Pia, okay, thank you. I wasn't sure how if I was pronouncing it wrong, but thank you for letting me know. Pia. But yeah, today, okay, so since you guys are here first, let me know um, if the audio sounds good. I don't know if it's my internet, but I feel like when I talk fast, there's like lines. We're working out some kinks here. That's definitely gonna be what today is about. Where is, where are the make, playing a makeup by Yolanda palettes? I don't know what I did with them, but here they are, hiding. This weekend I tried to organize and redo a bit of the background and just my makeup over here and I also played with the lighting. So there's a lot of new stuff. I'm not sure how it was working. So today's the first time I get to test it out. But anyway, um, oh, let's see. Rose said, I hope the nausea goes away. Mine didn't go away till the middle of the second trimester. I feel like that tends to be the jive with me. And then I feel like with Levi and Gideon, it was there throughout. Um, I'm glad that you're feeling well. I've been recovering at home and having my physical therapist. Oops kick the camera um therapist three times a week kicking my ass oh i hope you're doing better and that the therapy um is helping oh audio is great thank you so much i got a different mic than the first one i got because the first one i got um had a terrible like i don't know what it was like a static sound and i couldn't get it all out and it annoyed me so i picked up a different one and i like it there's no weird noise pia is a beautiful name i agree it's very pretty Audio sounds great, better than the previous live streams. Thank you. Yeah, the previous live streams were just off of my camera, which I don't think had a great had a great sound, uh, like uh, audio. But anyway, these are the palettes that I have from Playing and Makeup by Yolanda. If you didn't see them, I've done a couple of reels just showing them. But we have, all right, we're going to go in order because you guys are going to pick. I only have two eyes. I have four palettes. You guys have to help me pick. So this is the first one. I'm going to open it so you guys can get a good look. Whoa, without dropping it. And this one, let me go ahead and focus it. Maybe if it wants to focus, will you focus please? Will you do it if I do it this way? It's not one to focus. Oh my goodness, I'm still getting used to this new setup. Anyway, this one is like a very tealy type of blue. Got it in green in it, like a sea foam. But anyway, this one's called Expression, so that's number one. Then we have basic which is this one it's all matte this one had two shimmers so this one's all matte and it's called i think i just said basic so that's option number two and then we have mixture option number three and this is like green really dark blue and that this is the only shimmer it's a really deep dark um blue almost looks like it might have a shift from like a dark green to a dark blue i think i see there i don't know if you guys can see that and then a really pretty array of blue and then greens. And then option number four is the grungy option. And this one is called Friends. So here it is. And this one has one really intense, almost metallic looking shimmer. And then this one just looks like a dark, more subtle shimmer. Definitely doesn't look metallic like this one. And then three mattes to go with it. So we have, as I said, four palettes. So four, let's see, four, three and then we'll have 
two and one here. Let's see if I can hold them up. You guys have to vote which two ah, I'm going to use because I have two eyes. And during nap times, I can probably get one look done. So vote below. We have, what did I say? This is, well, let's just go this way. We have one, two, and three, and four. Make sure I'm on screen. I feel like I need to scoot my chair over because I keep kind of going to the side of the screen. But anyway, vote below and let me know which two I should use on my eyes. I don't know. They're all so pretty. I, did, I couldn't decide. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to have you guys decide with me. So everyone that's here can vote. And if you need me to hold them up again, let me know. If you want to vote, you can also like go back, rewind, and uh, rewatch where I said that. And then you can put it back on live. Um, let's see. We have some threes and fours, which is these two, all green palette. This this one, because this is an all green, because it has this. Or is this one, you mean all green? You have to let me know. Um, rose. And then we have another vote for three and four. Ooh, one and three. So that is three votes for three, one vote for one, and two votes for four. We got a one and four, so two votes for one, or yeah, two votes for one. Three votes, so this is so far winning. Um, three is winning with the most. One and two, two and four, four all green. Okay, that's what you meant, this one. So that's another vote for this one. So I think three and four are winning so far. We got some ones in there. But I think these two, let's see, we got one, one, two, three, four for the number four palette, and then where was it? One, two, three for the number three. And then I think that's two for two and two for two. Or two for one and two for two. So I think that's what it is. Hey, Don, you're just jumping on. I am voting. So here, maybe you can help. But I think I said, how many did I say the four? I think the threes and fours had three. So Don, we're voting on these, which ones to use. So far, these two have more because I'm going to use one on each eye. So let me know if you agree, because I think if I remember, you guys know I have a horrible short-term short memory, but I think I said these two were winning overall. There's one, two, three, four, five votes for four. One, two, three votes. No, five votes for four. So four is definitely winning. You guys like, you guys, you guys, after my own heart, love the grungy green. Um, so we have a lot of that. And then let's see, I think it's going to be between these two one and three so this is one this is three because i feel like that's kind of where we're tied if i remember correctly we had a couple twos but i think only two twos the ones had one two three was it one two three and then the threes i think had this one i had three so we had these are tied let's see i do like the green with a pop of yellow this one we're gonna do this one do you like the green with a pop of lime green? That would be number three. Okay, someone said number three. Sandy, you called it. Let me pull your comment up there. Okay, so we're going to do these. Hopefully, I don't get a ton more um, votes after this that would have swayed it towards these. But if this video goes well, maybe I can do another live stream later this week and we could do these two um, if this video goes well. I'm sorry there's a black box around it, uh, around my screen today. I didn't even say, but... That is due to um, the the part of the recording or the live streaming that should make this better quality, which by the way, let me know if the quality looks better, like it looks clearer. Let me know. I just got it today because I had to order an extra part of like a wire. Um, so I hadn't had time to play around with it. So I don't know if, I, if I'm like using it correctly. So hopefully before the next one, I can figure out how to get this black box away. But I figured it wasn't too distracting for today. Um, which brand is it? These are all playing in makeup by Yolanda. So while I chat, I better get going. I'm already almost at 2 o'clock. My kids tend to be waking up at 2.30 these days. So um, we're going to have to find a spot. No more live streams I do. I definitely need to find a better place to put my, my computer because it's very much in the way at the moment. I think I'll put it over here, maybe. I don't know. We shall see. But anyway, yeah, it's Playing a Makeup by Yolanda. I picked up a couple of her palettes. I think she has nine in this collection. There was a lot of palettes, and uh, part of me was like, oh, I'll get them all and review the whole collection, but that's a lot of palettes. So I got these, and I feel like some of them are super close, but also the reason I wanted to get it was to see, like, 
how close they were because some of these colors are like so like the minty blue greenish vibe so maybe i can do some looks and that might help someone else who's trying to shop and decide which one to get because they don't want to get a ton of them hopefully that'll be helpful that was kind of my thought on it i'm using the zoeva eyeshadow primer right now i didn't say that but i'm just going to tap this over and we can hop into it okay good done you said it's much clearer yay like i said let me know maybe it's just on my end but i see like if i'm moving too fast i see like lines <laughs> near the the part or whatever over the part that I'm moving maybe that's just me but I'm so glad the quality is better I figured if I'm going to do these type of tutorials it kind of be helpful to actually see it so you can see how the tutorial is turning out I have never really checked into her brand I thought it was all big palettes yes typically um Sandy she does do huge palettes this was her first drop of smaller palettes she had six pan palettes that came out a little while ago that was similar to this but they were like had glitter in them none of these as far as I could tell um, online and then with the ones that I got have glitter in them so that's why I opted for these instead of the six pan palettes and I also I don't know I just like how nice and sleek it is okay so I'm gonna do this thing one more time annoying little thing that'll pop up to make sure I'm focused and then um, let's see okay you're if I'm moving too fast I see the lines maybe that's just the like part of going live um, with the internet trying to catch up and whatnot or it could just be Maybe I didn't set up something right within it when I within the new program I have when I was uh, logging on today. But we're gonna start. I'm gonna do one eye at a time because I just can't work from two different palettes at the same time. I feel like that's gonna be very confusing. So we'll start with my left. I'm looking for. We'll just use this. I need to wash my brushes. This is the 206 from BK Beauty. Oh my goodness, Julissa, the palettes dropped this morning. Right, like I I. Uh, opened Instagram and that was the first thing that like popped up and I was like oh my goodness but like I was kind of overwhelmed because there was three different types of um of green palettes and three different types of purple palettes and three different like different sizes and I was just like couldn't they just like I don't know done one I don't know I was a little overwhelmed I ended up buying everything and I think I might just do a big swatch party and kind of comparison so that if anyone's sitting there like I was that morning going like I don't know which one to get Maybe it'll be helpful, or I could put it in a giveaway if I if I decide to just do one over the other, but I couldn't decide today, so I was like, I'm just gonna go for all of them and decide, but I was very overwhelmed. I don't, I mean, they listened to what their customer said, and they brought back the wilderness and like a, you know, a sister, but they had like triplets, and that was a little unexpected. No glitter, yeah, no glitter that I can see. This definitely looks just like a real, really nice um, metallic. So I'm gonna grab this one because it's, the grungy one and I think I'm gonna go with I'm gonna use as much as I can so I'm gonna go with this on the outer corner I'll probably blend it out with this sh oh, this shade and then um, I might use this to soften it out all around and then hey we might be we'll probably be able to use both of them on the lid so let's dive in first to this dark color I don't think they have names if you were wondering um, let's see I hope I hope to get the green one if I can of playing a makeup by Yolanda or oh you're probably talking about the Beauty Bay palettes which green one which size <laughs> I'm always I'm curious to what everyone else decides always pick the one in the middle oh that's a smart bet kind of right 50 50 um oh I should say my name first is Pearl my middle name is Rosie oh Pearl Ro or not Rosie sorry Rose Pearl Rose that's a pretty name I'm really starting to pay attention to names as we're moving along because I feel like uh, our first two kids, Olivia and Gideon, were pretty easy to pick because they were like favorites of ours. But now that we used them both, we're like, okay, now what? And Levi took a little bit for us to figure out the eleven dollar one. Okay, okay, I do see the lines, but un but until that happens, it's very clear. Okay, I'll just try to move slow. Come on, Katie, just move gracefully. Okay, let me shut this one so I don't forget. I'm using the Friends palette first. Friends? Yeah, Friends. It's hashtag Friends, I suppose. This is going on really nice. I had one dip and I'm just taking one more to kind of blend it out and make sure there's no patches, especially with the dark green. I feel like it can be a little tricky. You'll have to tell me if you notice, but there's a little bit of fallout, very little, and it's not wanting to move, which is not great. My face is a little sticky because I'm actually like sweating and stuff, but those new Beauty Bay palettes are beautiful. They are, I cannot wait to see what everyone does with them and like, which ones everyone picks because like I said I was just overwhelmed when I went on there to look because I was not expecting to have so many options 
I was expecting to have, um, I mean, I saw the hints, but I thought it would be like, I don't know, just kind of like a spinoff of it for show, but they actually produced all of them. Anyway, I'm going to go into this one next and I'm just going to work that with this little brush. What is it? The Lux 237. Right on top. I need to remember not to like smack my gum. I get very annoyed when I um, been editing. It's kind of like a pet peeve of mine when I hear people smacking and stuff like that. Do you guys want me to pull you closer? Is this a nice angle or would you like to be closer? Because I can uh, zoom you in a little bit closer. I don't think it'll mess with the lighting too much and uh, I'll just have to refocus it, but that's fine. Let me know. I'm just going to go like this and then I'm going to bring Sure, why not? We're going to bring a little bit in, but I think I'm going to focus this inner corner on that mustardy color. This is going on really nice as well. And it's meshing pretty good with the purple. Or purple, oh my goodness, why is it purple? With the green. I'm just going to tap it back on just to make sure it's blended and not looking like it's patching. So there's that. I can't, wait, uh, can't speak. I can't wait until we can see bump dates. I am showing some bump dates over on. Um, Instagram. Do you have Instagram done? I can show you today. I have a dirty shirt. I got this dirty already. Well, let's see. Here we are, 14 and a half weeks. Feeling a lot bigger these days. <laughs> I hope I didn't go um, too too big. What size did you get of the um, Beauty Bay palettes? I bought all three. Yeah. I've seen some great reviews of makeup uh, makeup by Yolanda. Nice quality. I've only tried one other product from her, or one other palette, and I've tried a couple other products. I think like a brush and was it a highlighter? I've been really happy with her brand. I really like it. Um, oops, we do we not be. Oh wait, I can't wait until I see bump dates. I'm not sure. I think I uh, misunderstood your previous comment. Sorry, Don. But uh, oh my goodness, <laughs> you're talking about the bump date or the the bump. Shot. I hope I uh, stayed still long enough. I forgot about the needing to stay still for a little bit. But yeah, that's the bump. It is very much there. I pulled out this past week and I kind of went through my closet, put away all my, I'm going into this one now, I should say. Pulled out all my, uh, I'm going to pull you guys a little bit closer. Let's see. Pulled out, or what am I saying? Refocus. Okay. Took out all my you know, like non-maternity clothes that were starting to get too tight, put all those away. And the ones that are going to continue to not work, I just put them away and pulled out all my maternity shirts because I was like, it's getting too uncomfortable to try to fit into these these other dresses and um, shirts and even some bottoms. I was trying to pull on some jeans the other day and I was like, yep, that's not going to button anymore. <laughs> so this past weekend, I went and did that change. And that's been nice to just be able to go in my closet and know that the stuff I'm going to grab is going <laughs> to is going to work because it was getting very frustrating. I would pull something off to wear and then I'd be like, yeah, no, that's not going to work. And I pull something else off. So yeah, it's coming along and I've been feeling really decent the last couple of days, which has been really nice. And also I've noticed, even my husband made a comment saying that um, it seems like I'm feeling better in the mornings. And like, usually when I've been waking, <laughs> thank you, Don, <laughs> when I've been waking up in the morning, typically the past, I don't know, a month and or a month or two, um, I'd wake up in the morning and it'd just be like a fight to be able to get up and start eating something without wanting to go throw up because it's just like instant. The moment my feet hit the ground would just be like that urge to or the need, the feeling of the need to throw up. And um, especially today and yesterday, I got up and I was able to like go grab a Levi out of his crib and um, you know, like talk a little bit before having to sit down and eat something and without feeling super nauseous. So I was like. That's nice. It's a nice change of pace to be able to feel like you can. I can like breathe a little bit before uh, needing to shove something in my stomach to see if it'll stay. So that's been a nice little change. I feel like over 13, week 13 into 14, I've been noticing. And that's been lovely. Because it was definitely the hardest part of like starting the day is trying to, to get something in my stomach to stay, but then also taking care of the kids because they're all waking up. And my husband, he does a lot. But he has to be out the door by some point. So it's like I would have to take over. And uh, there were some interesting mornings where I would just put on, um, I would put on like Cocoa Melon or Baby Shark or something so that I could spend some time at the, at the toilet and not have to have an audience. 
Okay. Oop, I just got, just got a, what do you call glitter glue in my, on my face. That's wonderful to hear. Thank you, Dawn. Yeah, it's been, it's been a nice change of pace. I'm so happy to hear that. I've been thinking about you and how you've been feeling. Oh, thank you so much, Julia. So that's so sweet of you. I just put on NYX glitter primer and now I'm going to go in with this and then I'll blend it into this, into the green. We'll see. It's too terribly dark. I might have to kind of tap over some of the matte green because that matte green isn't quite as dark as that, um, that dark shimmer. That's a really dark shimmer. Oh, yes. This is the type of shimmer I like. It's smooth, but it's like metallic looking. It's very like shiny and it's really easy to pick up and easy to um, like transfer. I feel like that didn't take too long at all to get to stick to my lid. I'm going to take this because I want my crease to stay pretty bright. I'm going to take this and kind of cut it like this. And then I'll put the dark shimmer below that. That's pretty. Yeah, that's this is the type of shimmer I like. Not a whole lot of fuss, but it's still very shiny and packs a punch. And it definitely, in my opinion, like that shows up just as intense on my eye as it does in the pan. You have to let me know what you think. But that's really pretty. I'm just going to use that same brush. And I'm going to dip in, flip it over on the other side. I'm going to dip into the darker color. Wow, that green is popping bright. I think that's really pretty. That shimmer shade looks amazing. I am super happy. This um, next one that I'm going into almost looks like it's a matte with shimmer chunks or like a, a what is that shade? A uh, satin, maybe that's it. I don't know, it doesn't look fully shimmery, but it doesn't look fully matte. It's definitely a lot darker. So you know what, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to think. I think uh, like going on from this in the future, I'm gonna use this and treat it just like a dark shimmer in the crease. Cause it's not super like shimmery metallic. It's definitely got a little shine to it, but I, this is a shade I wouldn't mind using on my outer corner because I feel like I'm just going to have to kind of bring it back and go over the green now because it's so dark. That's fine. The green will have worked up into the crease and help that. Make sure my kiddos are still, still asleep. Okay. So yeah, I just kind of brought it all the way back over and I'm going to go back to the really intense uh, shimmer. And this isn't, no, it doesn't feel like a, what is that super shock formula? It's not that soft. It just feels like a nice, a nice shadow. I'm super happy with this one. So pretty. So yeah, I'm just going to tap it over a little bit more. And sometimes I even take a little bit on each of the finger and I'll even tap over that line just to kind of diffuse it out with my finger. I feel like that worked. I used, I did that the other day and I was like, oh, that works a lot quicker sometimes than doing a brush. Okay. I'm going to take off any of that, any fallout. I'm going to take whatever's left on the darkest green, bring it out here. And then I'm going to go into that next, the middle green and just bring it around. But I think that's pretty much going to be the look. I'm going to bring this uh, shade here and I'm going to bring it down. Um, thank you, Dawn. Super pretty really vibrant contrast. I think it is. Yeah. Between the two, I think this is going to be a five pan palette. That'll be like really nice to get a lot of different type of looks. Cause you could kind of stick with the mustards and get a different type of look, or you can just go with that really dark green and get a really dark outer corner look with a really bright inner corner or like inner shimmer shade, or you can just go with that mid-tone green. Cause that matte, the first matte green I used was really pretty. I'm not going to do any liner because I feel like I'm going to be pressed for time as it is doing these two looks, but uh, I'm just going to take it around. I'm going to clean off this brush. I'm going to take that darkest green that I used first. I'm going to bring this here, and then I think I'm just going to use the mustard shade to kind of tie it all together. I feel like that'll look really nice. Yeah, oh, I almost look for a name. I'm like, why am I looking for a name? This is not exactly the type of brush I typically use down here. So it definitely makes me want to blink, but I'm trying to save brushes here. All right. And then going back to that middle green, I hope I'm showing you guys. Okay. 
I keep looking up because I usually will look up at the viewfinder to make sure I'm holding something in frame, but doing a live stream, that thing's all black. So I'm still trying to get used to that. Okay, so this is the first look. This is the first die with the friends. Ooh, how much are these palettes? Let me look it up for you. I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, playing in Makeup by Yolanda. I want to say it's like between 15 and 20. If I had to guess, we will find out if I'm right, <laughs> Julissa. In just a minute, it's loading. Uh, I'm wearing green today too. Purple and greens have become my favorite eyeshadow. I need to try purple and greens. I feel like I don't really think I've done purple and greens. Okay, so some of the palettes, ooh, the ones with the shimmer, are $18 and then the all matte. So the one I have, oh, I can't grab it right now. But the one, the all matte was 15. And then um, I bought it during a 40% off. So I paid 10 for three of them and $9 for one. Um, I'll have to try purple and green. I don't think I do that very often, but that sounds pretty. I'm so excited for the Angie and Odin's Eye palette to arrive. Oh, you got one. I feel it will have a similar look. Yes, I can definitely see you getting um, this type of look with that. I think that would be very, very pretty. Whenever I don't do wing line, I always feel like I second and triple and quadruple check myself when it comes to how I end the outer corner. I'm just not used to it. But I think that's pretty good. And I feel like the blend overall is really nice. Nothing um, nothing patchy, nothing too harsh. Everything pretty seamless. Yeah, everything was really pretty and pretty easy and nice to blend out. I'm going to add a little more primer here because I didn't blend this side very good and it creased a little bit. So let me just tap a tiny bit of this on and then we'll jump on to the other palette that will arrive. Um, oh, Julissa, your Odin's... Uh, Ugh. Odin's Eye and Angie Palette arrived today. Oh, it arrived. I can't wait to play. Oh, so fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Or I hope you enjoy it. Um, I hope you have fun with it. It's a fun color story. I do really like it. Some people left comments about how it was like a very unoriginal palette, which I, I can see. I mean, I did a whole video comparing swatches. There are aspects to it, but I'm really bad at being like a harsh critic to, towards it because I'm like, I, I love that color story. It's my It's my type of color story. But I can see it. I think so. You know, I got my Gila palette yesterday. And it's so pretty in person. I hope you have fun with it. Let me just grab a sip. Make sure the kids are still sleeping. All right. So we're going into mixture. Here it is. Let's see. What do we want to do? There's only one shimmer. It's super dark, but it's like super reflective. So I'm assuming it's going to be like that green. So, hmm. Trying to think of how I can incorporate all of these, but I don't know if I will be able to. <laughs> what do you guys think? Let's see. I'm gonna use this in the very outer corner. I think I'll blend this on top of it, but try to use this to kind of uh, make it lighter and diffuse it out. Maybe we'll try those together and that should also deepen the green to be a little more intense. And I think I'll play with, should I do both of these? Hmm. You know what? You know, I'm curious. Let me just do it since I'm here. I feel like these two greens in the palette are super similar. Let me see. Let's just swatch them really quick. Okay, they are really close. One, as you can see, is just, you know, grungy green and more of a blue green, which makes sense for the palette. So this leans more of a blue green. This is more of a grungy green, but they are pretty darn close. And they also feel the same. So. You know what, I'm just gonna do what I said first. I'm gonna start with that green in the outer corner and then I'm going to use the blue to deepen it up. And the child is moving, so let's hope I don't have to end this too soon. Let's see if I can get my eye done. I might not have time for mascara, but hopefully I can get the eye done before he wakes up fully. But I'm gonna dive into this with this on top to see if I can get a really dark blue because this is such a dark color, I feel like I need that. I love the color story. You can get many different looks from it. I only own one other palette from Odin's Eye. Oh, I hope. How do you like the Odin's Eye formula? I really enjoy their, especially their mattes. Their matte formula is so, so nice. Uh, their shimmers are a little, you know, hit or miss for me personally. It just depends on what type of shimmer formula they use because they have a couple formulas. That I'm not, the, uh, not, not that they're bad and that they don't work and they're duds, but I just don't prefer them. They're like that very, very light kind of wash of color sparkle type of thing. Or they're just very chunky and flaky. And I'm just like not into the chunky and flaky. Eden, you love Odin's eye? Oh, that's 
nice to hear. I've really been enjoying their, their mattes are my favorite, one of my favorites. Okay. So there is that dark color. I'm going to take that same color and pack blue and I'm going to pack it kind of on top. I did not mean to drop that on top and around it just to see, cause I want the outer corner to be like very blue, but I also want it to be deep. And I feel like this blue, well, it's pretty deep, but I wasn't sure if it was more of like a bright blue. So I'm just going to kind of go around it to see how deep and how well these two colors will mesh together. That's a really rich color. You know what? I should swap my mirror so I, I'm more like on frame for you guys, I think. Which is going to make it harder for me to make sure I'm catching comments, but we'll see. I got all three collabs um, last year and love them. I really do like the, the Giant Wolves and the Hummingbird are my favorite. I love my Giant Wolves palette. I wish I could have gotten Judy's palette, but it sold out on me. Oh, bummer. Oh, hey, Leah. I'm so glad you could make it. This is. A bit of a crazy type of <laughs> get ready with me, I feel like, because I'm kind of all over the place, but let me grab a different brush. Hopefully next time I will have a better setup. I will at least try for a better setup because this is a little tricky. Okay, so now I use those two and I like how deep and just gorgeous that is. I'm going to take this green. I'm going to focus it on the inner corner going towards what I just did there. And I want to make sure this really stands out because I feel like as a whole, this look is going to be very blue. So I want this inner corner to be like a really intense pop of uh, this gorgeous green. Like that. Am I in frame enough? Because I can't see. <laughs> I can't see uh, if this is a good angle for you guys. I don't know if I should turn more like this so you guys can see. Because by the time I turn around, the... Uh, <laughs> my uh, camera caught up and I can't see where I was obviously but yeah I think next time I think I'll just put I'm going to clear off some brushes that's why I need some move some of my brushes and then put the camera towards the back and then that way it's in the middle so I can kind of see see it at all times no matter which way I'm facing but yeah this green is very pretty definitely my type of green I'm just kind of going in diffusing making sure it's all nice and soft but that's pretty and i think i want to take that blue so let me see i need a different type of brush though but the one i was using before isn't going to cut it i'm going to take that rich kind of like oh i'm behind oh my goodness everyone's commenting i'm so sorry that's a beautiful blue i do this blue is a combination of the green and blue but i do agree that it's beautiful hi leah i have all four items i palettes and wouldn't give any up i know i really do enjoy having the collection they're so pretty hi Don. Judy's palette is selling on Mercari for almost $200. Oh my goodness. I, uh, oh, Anastasia, hello. I'm late to the party. No worries. No worries. Today was a crazy day, but uh, I am glad to be here. It was literally right before I started this live. I was doing other live, like private lives to try and make sure um, it looked okay. And the audio, because for whatever reason, um, the audio, this new cord I got so I could have the, the microphone closer to me wasn't working. So I have to see why the cord isn't working. It might just be a dud from Amazon and I might have to order it again. But anyway, I was frantically trying to figure out why I was silent when I went on. So I'm just glad I, I made it here. <laughs> All right. So I just took a little bit of that blue inward just to kind of make it, give it a little bit of a, a softer color and a softer kind of mesh between the two when I put the shimmer on. And then I'm going to go into that that brush I used the blue on, tap it back here because I feel like I might have rubbed it off a little bit. And then, where's that brush that I had? I think I put it back. Whoops. Um, I don't need that big. Sorry, y'all. Oh, here it is. This brush. This is a B Pro Crease. B. Oh, Beauty Junkies Pro Crease brush. That's what I'm using. So far, this look reminds me of the Seattle, Seattle Hawks. Oh, does it? I'm not familiar with them. I'm going to go in with them. I, I mean, I know they're like a sports, but I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not into sports, so I don't know what type of uh, sport. Are they football or, um, I don't know, baseball or hockey or whatever? Ooh, that's such a pretty color. I'm using, I think I've just pointed, but I'm using this one. Very intense. A little, went a very long way, so I need to soften this out a little bit more. I think that'll be very pretty to mesh these two together. 
I took the kids to a play place today and then right before I sat down, I was like kept getting up and down and like moving lights and trying to figure out why the audio wasn't working. So I feel like my face just looks like a grease ball from all the, the sweat. Oh well. And then I also need to take the fallout away because there is some blue and it's kind of staying. Again, I'm sweating so it's probably why it's staying. I'm going to take this little brush that I use for my lower lash line, I just clean or on the other eye, I just cleaned it off. I'm gonna go into that blue. I really like that blue. I'm just gonna connect it. Since I'm here, this is a really pretty blue. And you know, not using the green before it, if I just use the blue by itself, it would show up a lot more true to pan and a lot like um kind of like a royal blue, like a cobalt blue type of color. That'd be really pretty. I think that's the one thing I love. I've been really enjoying it about playing a makeup by Yolanda because, like, her colors like they're so intense and vibrant. And I feel like a lot of times, especially like I f I get onto this about ColourPop, but they really tend to be that color, that type of formula that like they're so intense or they they look so pretty in the pan, but when you actually use them, they get so much softer and it annoys me. But uh, playing a makeup by Yolanda, the color that you see in the pan typically is a color you can get on your eyes. And honestly, not with like a whole lot of work, as you can see, like I'm not really having to work hard to get this gorgeous color to show up. I feel like it's so pretty and effortless. And I think that is amazing when you don't have to work hard and uh, you don't have to work hard to get your color to show up. It's just kind of like boom, boom, done. I'm just going to go back with this blue because now I feel like I have a harsh line there. And I'm going to pause to read comments because I feel like I probably am missing some. Oh, I like that. It's very pretty. Definitely with her palettes, as you've been seeing on both sides, um, there's fallout. So I would prefer to do her, and especially since they're so vibrant of a color as well. They kind of still remain even after I dust them off. So I'd prefer to do her formula before makeup, which tends to be what I do. But I feel like I have to make that clarification when I do lives or do it like this because um, I have my face already done. Football. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Julissa. Favorite TV shows? Oh, I'm so lame. I don't really watch TV shows. Um, oh, you're you're so sweet, Don. You you both are so sweet. You and Julissa. Thank you so much. Um, favorite TV shows? I don't think I have like current. I don't really watch current TV shows. I'm someone who tends to like have my old favorites and enjoy them. Like, um, uh, what was I just kind of going through and watching recently? Um, ba -dum -bum -bum. oh, I have something out there that's beeping because it's done. I forgot I had it on. I am so thankful for auto off sometimes because my scatter brain would forget so much. Um, anyway, uh, I like kind of like a true crime type of, uh, TV shows. So I was a big fan of, um, Criminal Minds when I was a teen and I, I enjoy watching some of them now. I kind of fell out of love a little bit with them as they've been going on. So I really like their older episodes, like the first few seasons and whatnot. Those are my favorites. But uh, what else? Those type of things. Um, okay, double checking that my kids are still asleep. So I did that. Anything um, like what is it, NCIS, um, CIS, they have all those kind of spinoffs. I feel like I'm forgetting one of them that's like a big favorite of mine that I can't remember at the moment. But any type of mystery that you have to solve like crime mystery. I tend to like those type of video, uh, the TV shows. But again, I feel like, I don't know if that really counts because it's nothing like super current. I can't really think of any type of TV show that's going on right now um, that I've been watching or know about, honestly. Is there a code for her site? Not right now that I know of, um, but uh, what I do is I follow her on Instagram or you can sign up for her emails and she has sales not infrequently. The first time I tried her, which was Gosh, sometime last year, she had a 40% off sale. And then I just picked it up during another 40% off sale. I feel like 40% off is usually her like best and you know, the best time to get it. I don't think I've, unless it's like a specific product, sometimes I'll see for like 50 or 60% off, which it usually just isn't something I'm interested in. But as far as like site wide, I feel like 40% off has been the best I've seen. So when I saw it go 40% off again, um, whatever, a couple weeks ago when I bought these, I was like, okay, I'm going to buy it now. I can't really remember seeing a, uh, a like a 50% off, maybe a Black Friday, but uh, it's not Black Friday, so I wanted to buy these 
kind of close-ish to the launch, so I figured 40% was a good time. So anyway, I just um, subscribed to her email list and then uh, got an email when it went up. I'm going to put this all over my lid now. Have you been watching Crime Weekly? Oh, yeah, those are podcasts. Not really TV shows, but I do Crime Weekly um, and also Crime After Crime with um, De Deanne. Wait, is it Deanne? Danielle. Why did I do that? Danielle Hallen and... Um, Oh my gosh, what's his name? I'm blanking on it. Anyway, crime after crime. Look it up. They do it once a month and they drop their videos on the first of the month every time. And I like it because they tend to be a little more lighthearted. So it's one of those things that I find very enjoyable and kind of like a nice break from a lot of the heavier cases that can be um, covered by like Danielle or, um, or who are the other ladies I watch? Stephanie Harlow. Eleanor Neal and whatnot, some of their cases. Oh, do you guys see how pretty this is? This is super pretty. I have to make sure I get a really nice straight line though because it's definitely very dark. I don't want it to get sloppy up here in the crease. But yeah, I like those podcasts. And um, Stephanie's starting to starting to start one. Starting to start. She's beginning one about strange things or strange whatever. I forget what it's called. I just listen. I'm in the middle of listening to her second one today. I think she's going to make it a podcast. I believe that's what she said. But anyway, I really like Stephanie Harlow. Um, favorite cartoons the kids make you watch? Um, we are like, we're the type of people people that like are in a rut type of thing. So they get something they like and that's all we watch. We used to watch Bubble Guppies, which honestly, that was one that uh, I was kind of like, I eh, didn't really love to watch. But right now, I mean, it was okay. It was just one that I didn't find particularly interesting. But right now, they're really into Blaze and Paw Patrol. And I enjoy Blaze. Paw Patrol's a little like, I don't know. I'm kind of in the middle. Some episodes are cute. But when you've seen them 20 times, it loses its appeal just a little bit. I'm just going back in with a mixture of the green and the blue that I used over here. That's super pretty. And I feel like for being such a dark shadow, usually I'm not a fan of like super dark shimmers all over the lid. But this is pretty. This is super pretty. CSI, yes, I've watched that before. I enjoy that. Thank you, John Lorden. Um, Kendall's pregnant, John Lorden. <laughs> Thank you, Julissa. Yes, Kendall is pregnant. I think she's due around the same time. I can't remember if it's a little before or after, but I want to say it's in August. I just can't remember if she's in the beginning or end. I'm right in the middle, so I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. But yeah, super excited for them. It's their first. That's so exciting. Um, yeah, she's making it into a podcast. I've been watching Stephanie for years. Yeah, Stephanie, I mean, I feel like I'm very bad because I have, like, so many favorites. But if you, have, like, if I had to pick one, I feel like Stephanie is just someone I, I don't know. I just love the way she presents things. I love the way she researches things. I love the way she does her videos. And, like, I love how in-depth she gets. It's my favorite. So I feel like she's one of my favorites. But then I, I also like so many others, like I said. I did a whole video back in, like, two years ago, I think talking about all my favorites because I have so many favorites I can't really pick um make sure I'm not missing any but yeah here is that this blue is so pretty I'm just gonna go and take a clean brush because I feel like there's a bit of a harsh line here because that that light blue is really intense so I'm just gonna go and soften it a little bit more wow these are these all the shades like went on very intense without any any work the dark colors are really dark and beautiful. The shimmers are in, like so beautiful. I think the only one that might be a little bit of a, not even a dud, but just not my preference is more of that. It's, I feel like it's a matte with a ton of like sparkle that doesn't really fall away. Cause I feel like typically mattes with shimmers will start falling apart as soon as, or falling off as soon as you start to work with it. But these are still staying. So it's some type of like, I don't know. I think it might be like a sap. I don't know. It's, it's pretty. Not ten tense and not be like my go-to when it comes to lid shades just because I like I like these two for sure on my lid. But it is very pretty. I will give that. Let's see. Julissa said she's got a way of storytelling. And I love how she goes back to the beginning, way back. Yes, I think that's so fascinating because, you know, I, I think she sums it up so well. She says to fully understand what happens, like what happened on that day, you've got to go back to the beginning. And sometimes, like, it's going back to... I mean, sometimes she'll go back to like the the parents of the people she's talking about or the grandparents of the people she's talking about and um it's amazing i'm gonna do brown on this side so i'm doing black over here it's amazing to learn 
and just to see, not to say that like your childhood shapes who you become, but it's amazing in some cases how, how the, it has an effect, which is always like, for me, a great reminder to not ignore them in their young phase. Cause it's like, I feel like a lot of people can kind of be like, oh, they're young, they're easy. You just, you know, keep them busy and whatever with kids. But it's like, oh, such an important phase. And, you know, there's so much groundwork to be put down now for the kids that can really have an effect and, you know, help or hinder, depending on how your childhood goes, um, help and hinder that or help or hinder them in the future. So it's like, <coughs> I almost choked on my spit, but it's a good reminder for me to uh, <coughs> not shirk my duties as a parent because it's very important. Again, I think I already said, but not that like your parenthood totally determines what you do as an adult and whatnot. You're still responsible for your own actions, but you can set them up as best you can by giving them a solid, as best you can, a solid foundation, a solid start. Okay, so I'm putting on mascara because I think I'm pretty much done. I really like it. I would definitely have loved to put um, liner on this one. This one, I honestly don't feel like I need liner. I'm kind of looking at it like I kind of like the dark look without any liner, but I wouldn't have minded a little liner, but we're going to go with this because when I say my kids are moving, they are moving. <laughs> they are starting to stir. No one has gotten up yet. So hence why I'm putting on mascara, finishing this out. But oh yeah, I really enjoyed both of these palettes. So pretty. I feel like the shimmers that I have on my lid are just stunning. And we're, this one, I don't think I even said, but this one was just as easy to put on as that bright green that I did on my other eye. And it is more sparkly than the green. So it's not as like shiny, but the sparkle that's on this one is um, purple and blue and like a really bright blue that's different from the base color of it. So it stands out. So it's one of those shades that like as you turn, I can just see, maybe I should turn slowly <laughs> so it doesn't make the lines. But as I turn, I just see all this sparkle, both like a purple, Oh, yeah, purple, not really hot pink, but purple and the bright blue. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to put on, I guess I don't have to worry about putting on a ton of mascara. This is their real magnet, which I've got, uh, grown to like as it's like over six months old. So it's really dried out. I like it more than the wet version. The shadows are gorgeous. I agree. Definitely on point. Your childhood shapes you, but you're absolutely responsible for your actions. Yeah, you said it so much better. I feel like people can say things so much more concisely than I can. I feel like I go on and on. Love the shimmers. Yeah, I feel like the shimmers are super pretty. And I'm super excited to, to uh, see this. And I feel like it's a step up in her formula because the only other pa uh, other palette I tried was the Wasashini. It was a pastel palette. I think it's called like Wasashini. Anyway, the pastel palette. And there were a bunch of shimmers. And I really only liked one or two that were kind of like this. But even like this, they were um, the ones that I like were a little bit harder to pick up and they weren't as metallic. Definitely not as sparkly, but they weren't as metallic as this. So to see this formula in two of her uh, her little pans, I'm going to try the, you know, the ones in the other one that I have, but I feel like she really stepped up her shimmer game in uh, these little five pan palettes, at least from the, the time that the pastel palette came out. I haven't tried her other palettes since then because she's released quite a few palettes since the pastel palette and before these little five pans, but I am really, really happy with uh, the shimmers in this palette or in these two palettes. They're really pretty. And I don't mind that dark one. I wouldn't mind it if the dark one in the, in the green one here looked like this, because that would be really pretty. But like I said, I don't mind it too much because I, I think next time I use that, I'll just use it as a dark outer corner instead of trying to put it like as a transition, even though I feel like it didn't turn out too bad. It doesn't look too bad. I was able to blend it pretty effortlessly into the previous um, matte green I had. Kind of meshed it all together. So there is that. Oh, I didn't do an inner corner, which um, neither of these have inner corners. Uh, hey, Amanda. I can't hope all is well in the family as well. Sorry, I'm late. No worries at all. Um, I'm going to leave this live so you can always rewatch it. But I am doing well. Thank you so much, Amanda. And we're using these two. So yeah, I have them on the right eye. So neither of these, as you can see, they don't have a, uh, I don't know if you guys heard that sound. They don't have like a snap closure, like it snaps in, but they have, as you start to close them, once they get here, you got to like give it a little bit and then it kind of snaps closed. So I like that. It's nice and secure. It's not 
like flapping or anything. Anyway, neither of these have anything, if I can stop throwing them, neither of these have anything for inner corner. So, let me see what these. The other one has this light mint, it's like sea foam, but I don't feel like that goes with any of them. So, let me just grab a, a highlighter. I feel like this one, this is Sunset Glow from Give Me Glow. Yeah. Oh, Late Night Coasting. Sorry. Late Night Coasting. It's a highlighter from Give Me Glow. Take this little brush and we're just going to put this on both sides. I feel like this is a really pretty shade that'll, that'll work for both of the looks that I have going on. Oh, and I didn't put any highlighter on today, so I guess I could put a little bit. How am I doing on time? Okay. We've got a couple minutes. Olivia is starting to get to the age where she doesn't fall asleep. Sometimes if like we do a lot, she'll take a, a nap, but most of the time recently it's just been her resting. So, or she'll take like a really short nap, like maybe half an hour and then she'll wake up. But uh, anyway, she's the one that will pop up out of a room as soon as it's 2.30. Cause that's when I tell her to like rest still. So as soon as the clock says 2.30 in her room, she's like, well, it's 2.30. So there's that, that looks really pretty. But anyway, I am almost at my limit. I'm glad I got to get do both eyes. I'll be curious to see if um, this transfer, and I might have to play around with different types of um, what glitter glues or whatnot, because especially with this shade being so dark, I feel like it's very important for that not to get all messy and up and sloppy up in my crease. Um, you know what? I might as well put a little bit of highlighter on, and we'll just use late night coasting. Give me glow liquid lip versus. Kale uh, Kaleidos Clay Lip. How do they compare? I wish I could tell you, but I actually don't have um, Kaleidos uh, Clay Lips. I almost, oof, that was really intense. I almost picked it up the last time I ordered from them, but I ended up not. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was going to because I was like, oh, let me, let me try. I haven't tried them, but then I was like, you have a ton of lipsticks, Katie, because I was literally going to get the exact same color I have like a million times over. So I talked myself out of it, but yeah, I haven't tried it. I'm trying to think of someone who's tried both that you can maybe ask. Um, I don't know if Annette has tried Gimme Glow's liquid lipsticks, um, but I like liquid, I can uh, speak for Gimme Glow. I really like her liquid lipsticks. I feel like they're very um, comfortable and they last decently and they like fade relatively gracefully. They have a little bit of a line. This lipstick really doesn't match now. They have a little bit of like that line on your inner lip that they can get, but for the most part, they don't have, oh, I think she is awake. Um, I think Olivia is coming out, but they don't have that really harsh line that like really thick ones can give you. And they also don't have that really harsh um, look to them. All right, I'm just gonna throw this on because I'm gonna have to wrap it up here. Oh no, she must've just rolled over because I couldn't see her, but she's there. But I'm just going to put this on. This is Lip Blaze um, in Herb from Lime Crime. This is not a liquid lipstick. This is like a really um, opaque lip gloss, and I love it. Oh, they're both moving. Okay, never mind. Kids are awake. All right. We're going to call that good. And I hope I'm not missing. Flower Beauty's my favorite, but they range, the range is so limited. And I love Topes and Grace. Yeah, they don't have a bunch, but I do like Flower Beauty's. I'm dying to give Gimme Glow liquid lipsticks. I'm dying to try them. And the Kaleidos Lip Plays look amazing. Uh, yeah, I really do enjoy um, both her glosses, Gimme Glow glosses and liquid lipsticks. So anyway, that is going to do it for today's live stream. Um, that was using, as I said, Let's see, we have friends on this side and mixture on the other side. And my fingers are very dirty, but that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so very much for joining me. I hope this live stream went okay. I can't wait to see the replay. Hopefully the quality is better. Hopefully the sound is better. And hopefully I can get rid of this box next time and um, maybe figure out why I get lines if I move too fast. I may have to ask Britt because uh, she is the live stream queen and she's been a big help to me trying to figure all this out. So yeah, that's it. I don't know when's the next time I'll do a live stream because I think I'm going to do a video, um, like a, a planned video. I'm going to edit for Thursday, but I don't know. We shall see, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments of this video after it goes live. Let me know if you'd like me to do another live. 
oof, sometime this week with these two. Because I feel like it's a fun way to try multiple palettes if I do them live so you guys can see and we can talk. But let me know if you'd like to see this sometime in a live, maybe next week, um, next Monday maybe, if you would like that. Let me know in the comments and I'll try to do that. But yeah, thank you all so much. Everyone's saying bye. I can't highlight everyone. I'm behind. But thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.